as president of the Galaxy Alliance Council, it is my duty to convey the charges against the accused. Former Sky Marshal Herbert Wade, you are charged with insurrection for aiding and abetting the enemies of the Galaxy Alliance. You are charged with treason for the hijacking of Voltron and the attempted destruction of Earth. Add to these crimes kidnapping, illegal imprisonment, and sedition for engineering the original Voltron malfunction to take power of our defense forces. It's about time that came out. We will break to deliberate and reconvene shortly with our verdict. Guilty! He's guilty! So guilty! Wait, guilty! G -g 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 guilty! What? My lucky conviction dance. Save the moves for the dance floor, big man. No way Wade gets off. Doesn't it bother anyone that he's not even trying to defend himself? Anything that Snart says would only make it worse. He's going down. Uh, anyone seen Vince? He can't miss this. You're missing Wade's going away party! Uh, what's with the new tiara? It's a prototype for my MindLink interface. Something I've been tinkering with as a way for the pilots to be better connected to Voltron's control system. <laughs> cool. Careful, Daniel. It's not finished yet. Don't! <sighs> you know what, Daniel? You're the king of bad ideas. Daniel? All his vital signs are normal. Whew. But I'm not detecting any brain activity. Daniel, come on, wake up. Uh, my head. Where am I? Okay. The accused will rise. Herbert Wade, for the crimes you have committed against the Galaxy Alliance, we find you guilty on all counts. Add this to the list. Daniel's condition is stable, there's hope. Keep me updated with any changes. Unfortunately, I have more bad news. Wade escaped. Seriously? What? No way. Now, somehow he's been working with that cocooning row beast that attacked Eris a while back. You mean the lighter row beast? What? Part lion, part spider? Uh. Sure, for lack of anything else to call that monstrosity. We need to track and mobilize immediately. It should have a Hagarium signature to trace. I'll go to the control room. You guys get to the hangar to prepare the lines. I have Voltron assembled in there for a diagnostic. Your gizmo worked! A million times better than you thought it would! This wasn't the plan. We gotta get your brain back into your body. Why would I want to do that? We've been working to pilot Voltron. Now, I am Voltron. So, uh, see ya. Daniel, wait! I, uh, found Daniel's brain. I'm feet and legs! I'm arms and body! And I'm also the head! Daniel, do you read me? Is your comm functioning? Yeah! Well, we can sure hear him. Oh, he can hear us. He just never listens. 
to me anyway. As soon as we get back. Was that? Lance, what are you guys doing? In the castle control room? What's going on? Long story. Well, actually, not really so long, it's just weird. Hello, Earth! What to do first? Skate grind the Great Wall? Glacier surf Antarctica? Wait, I know. Always wanted to laser write my name on the moon! Repeat, Earth Transport 721, requesting emergency assistance. Cool. My emergency scanners are active. Well, I guess playtime can wait. Duty calls, and I am the defender of the universe! Meteor shower approaching! Float like a giant robot, sting like a road beast. to be of service, citizens. Have a nice day. Daniel, I know you can hear me. Pidge ran a diagnostic on your comm system. You're just not listening. <sighs> kind of busy defending the universe here. Daniel, it's Keith. Respond now. Oh, uh, hey, Keith. Just testing the capabilities of Vince's invention. Danny boy, you're actually the robot? <laughs> you have to tell me what that's like. On the land scale of coolness, you'd need a new chart. Daniel, Wade has escaped. Return to the castle so we can go after him. Well, since time is a factor, I'll go after Wade myself. I'm remotely accessing your data. Ah, a Hagarium trail. I'll handle it, Keith. Dantron, out. Daniel! He didn't listen to a word I said. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Well, this stuff looks familiar. Daniel, what's happening? Voltron's power levels are all over the map. This place is full of Hagarium webbing. But don't worry, it's not enough to save Wade. Daniel, don't go in there! Knock, knock, Wade. Welcome, Voltron. I'm so glad you found us. <laughs> I don't know what you are now, Wade, but you might want to get back in that hole, because Voltron's coming at you. I know your voice. The troublesome cadet has somehow become Voltron. And the snark bag Sky Marshal has somehow become an even bigger snark bag. <laughs> I remember when I once controlled Voltron. Intoxicating, is it not? The power to puppeteer the defender of the universe. If Voltron were to merge with us, our might would be unmatched. Sorry, I hate spiders and jerks. Four blazing sword! Uh, not good. Ah, can't form your weapon? Guess you'll form with us. was designed for the cadets, which is not awesome. Tron. Hang in there, hunk. We're closing on the coordinates of Daniel's last transmission. I'm getting awfully high Hagarium readings from the whole cluster. That's got to be where Daniel is. I've discovered a complication with Daniel. The longer his mind stays in Voltron, the more chance he'll permanently bond with the robot. And the harder it'll be to get him out. So what'll happen to Daniel's body? Antelura, do you read? I've been monitoring your communications. Daniel's body is... Whatever you guys are doing, do it as fast as you can. Let's get in there! Punch it, hunk! Roger that, boss! <laughs> <laughs> it is pointless to resist. Come on now! Need a weapon! <sighs> Maybe a little reconfiguration action. Four, red center! Uh, thanks, do you read? 
I can't access Voltron's powers. I need your help. Ugh. Hey, wait. This will work. Give it up, son. It's time for us to become one. For you and Voltron to feel the full power of Hagarium. Yeah? Well, feel these. tricks of my own. Face it, Wade. You're just too slow. Huh? And you're too weak. This is Hagarium country. What drains your power only makes us stronger. Need to reroute power. Somehow. Daniel to Vince. You read? Hey, buddy. You out there? Attempting to hide as a giant robot is futile, foolish boy! He, she, it isn't kidding. Well, if there's no flight, it's gotta be fight! Save your energy. We will need it! <laughs> Which way? I'm picking up Voltron's power signature, but I have to warn you, it's very weak. We'll take what we can get. You don't suppose? Unfortunately, I do. Voltron's trapped inside that ball of web. Awesome Tron, charge your weapon systems. We'll blast them out. Hold on. We don't know Voltron's condition. A heavy attack might damage the robot or injure Daniel. <sighs> I hate it when you're right. Who's got a better idea? We could move in for a closer look. That won't work. This is the same Hagarium weapon we couldn't break with conventional weapons when this thing attacked Eris. There was only one thing that had any real effect. Vince. Looks like this thing's upgraded itself by absorbing ships. So I guess... Voltron is next on the menu. This thing in Daniel and Voltron are in some kind of mental stasis. Their brains must be merging before their bodies follow suit. Daniel, if you don't wake up, I'll pound you, Conscious. That's not gonna do it. Someone's gonna have to go in and get him. I'm talking about me. What can we do? I think we should try to break the physical connection between Voltron's body and Wade. Or this spline. Lighter. That I can do. Good luck, Vince. Here goes something. Cool. <laughs> Stop fighting us. Surrender Voltron or be destroyed. Endeavor. So I've learned. Of course, he resisted at first. 
But then I realized the strength I gained by merging with her. We have been able to hear each other's thoughts and coordinate our future plans. Evil plans? For some time, our connection was beyond my ability to comprehend. But I had a lot of time to think while I waited in jail. Our bond really grew there. Now we will merge with both. And your friend. Which leaves very little use for you. Voltron, and you never will be. Daniel, listen to me. You've got to come out of Voltron. No, I don't. I am Voltron. It was just a power failure. That's why the weapons wouldn't work. No, Daniel! Voltron was trying to tell you something. No one person was meant to control it. You... you're right, Vince. You all right? Yeah. I should have listened to you, buddy. <laughs> Why start now? How was the meeting of the minds? I got him. Let's blast out of here. Way ahead of you! Slash and burn are already clearing a path. That spider is still attached to Voltron. We need to activate Voltron now. Forget it. The big guy has been completely drained of energy. Need another plan. Fast. I got an idea. Pitch, Vince, let's blow us up a lighter. Oh, man. Not Awesome Tron. Pitch, Vince, join Hunk and Awesome Tron. <laughs> we can't hold this thing out forever. Awesome Tron, if you're going to do something, do it now. We're doing, we're doing. Setting Awesome Tron's generator to overdrive. It's working! Begin phase two! <laughs> Hurry! It's got us! Absorb this, Lighter! Fools! You have only made us more! The brains did good. The weight spider is reforming. We need to finish weight off. I don't like it any more than you, but we gotta get Voltron home and Daniel back in his body. Shine, Sleeping Beauty. I'm sorry to everyone for everything. Uh, Ow! 
was that for? Just to make sure you're really in there. Learn your lesson? <laughs> Learned. I'll listen next time. You better, Daddy. What'd you say this? Huh? I didn't say anything. I said a lot. Uh, no. But I just heard it in my head. Can you hear me? So, this is gonna be weird. Get a move on, kids. Uh, the second sun's almost set. Whoa. What's the matter? Lava, not good for crops. Punk, Allura, a little help here? I think we might be getting full. We need to divert this lava and fast. Well, let's dig in. It's working. But Reg, you're gonna have heartburn tonight. Less wit, more people saving. We have to seal up that mountain. Allura, not the time for a water break. Think about it. You've got fire, I've got water, and Hunk's got earth. What does that make? A cool band name? <laughs> I think she has something else in mind. Force concrete. Is there any problem you can't solve? Feels good to play with fire and not get burned. Mission accomplished, Pidge. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Something still isn't adding up. There are no active volcanoes anywhere near those farms. Well, something caused them to erupt like that. Exactly. I'm running a SATCOM analysis of the area. I'm gonna need Lance to score me some soil samples to figure out what caused this natural disaster. Guys, I don't think it was exactly natural. Whoa, big hole. You can say that again. What do you think made them? Them? Uh-oh. I defer to my associate scientific analysis. Uh-oh. Indeed. Okay, here's what we know. I ran an exoscan of Eris' surface. It appears that 23% of all mountains around the planet have identical holes to the ones near the farm. It's not just mountains. Something's hitting forests and lakes, too. Question is, what's doing it and why? Could be a giant stray bowling ball. Well, maybe it's you, because you stink at bowling. I got a strike once on the wrong lane. Guys, not important right now. Something is playing pinball with our planet, and we have to find out what this thing wants. It's us. Mountain, tree, lake. It's trying to locate the lions. Of course. It's systematically searching Eris for the location of the lion's dens. How long until it finds one? 22 and change. Doesn't give us much time to stop something no one's even seen. Wait, maybe no one's seen it because it's not on the ground. I'm widening my search parameters to include the planet's exosphere. Bingo. I'm still voting bowling ball. Whoa, what is that? It's moving at Hyper Mach 3. It's so fast, I can't even capture a clear image of it. But it's not faster than our lions. Actually, it is faster. Way faster. We've never even pushed one of our lions past Hyper Mach 2. Yet. Thanks for joining us, boys. We just finished our flight deck training simulations. Thought we'd come check out where the real action is. I'm already on it, kid. I'm taking Red up. Need a co-pilot? Never. But you can tag along if you want to watch me set a new lion speed record. Okay, both of you, wait. We don't know what we're dealing with, let alone if we can even catch it. I can catch anything. The way I see it, there's only one way to find out what this thing is, and that's... Hit it head on! Oh, sorry. Blew your cool line. <laughs> Shall we? Okay, we should be picking up this thing on the SAT scan by now. You see anything? Yeah, I'm not sure we need a SAT scan for that. 
That thing is fast. Well, so am I. <laughs> That thing moves like honk on a buffet. I was gonna say lightning, but yours works too. Lance, what are you doing? Just boosted my speed by rerouting all power to my tail thrusters. And away from your shields. You're completely vulnerable to an attack. Yeah, well, I'm also pushing Hyper Mach 2, which I believe you said was impossible. Lance, you need to back off. You're already redlining it. The lions have limits. about giving me a crack at the controls. Speed is sort of my department. I got it covered. Come on, I'm so fast, I'm already in next week high-fiving you because we kicked its butt. Let's not forget, you're the one tagging along here. Last thing I need is a backseat driver. It's banking back again. You need to reroute the power back to your shields. Not if I outrun them first. Maybe I can help. You saying I can't do this on my own, that I'm not fast enough, cadet? No, I didn't mean... Remember, I was the red line while you were still playing with your Voltron toys. Yeah, my Lance action figure didn't get all snarty on me. Lance, come in! You can't keep pushing red like this, your system... Oof. Come on, boy. Hold it together. Hold it. Hold it! Our systems are failing! Yeah, the sirens flashing red lights kind of tip me off. Guys, you've got a problem. According to our scans, your lion is emitting a low-frequency homing signal. It's tracking you as we speak. Whatever you do, don't go back to Red's cave. Remember, this thing's trying to find out where the Voltron lions live. If it wants Voltron, let's give it Voltron. Pidge, you there? Red's fading fast. Don't worry, your plasma cells can recharge when we form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Voltron Force! Four feet and legs. Four arms and body. Just disrupted our formation sequence. Where'd it go? Let's not wait around to find out. Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infra cells up. Mega thrusters are up. Look who's back. We have to form faster if we want to beat this thing. Regroup. How about we skip the preamble? Form feet and. Ah! There's no way this thing's gonna give us the time to form Voltron. So what do we do when that happens? It's never happened. This is what you call a first. And it'll be our last if we don't get back to the castle. But no buts. Retreat! Is it possible that we can't form Voltron? Well, from what I saw, it smashed into us over and over. And over. And then three more times. Oh, I can't believe this happened. With all due respect, I can't believe it hasn't happened till now. Daniel! Shh! No, this is gonna be good. I'm just saying. Well, no one's asking. Lance, let him finish. Look, I've been Voltron's biggest fan since I was a kid. I've studied every aspect of how you guys operate, even timed how long it takes for you to form Voltron. 36 seconds. That's kind of a long time, don't you think? Considering we're forming a million-foot robot, that's not long at all. It is in the middle of a battle. You can't just expect your enemies to stand around. You really think the bad guys are gonna say, sure, you go ahead and become the defender of the universe. I'll just patiently wait over here for the next 36 seconds. It is kind of crazy that no one's ever attacked you when you're at your most vulnerable until now. Don't you think? All that matters now is finding a way to form Voltron faster. Pidge, any thoughts? 
That would require a substantial speed upgrade to every lion. That's a tall order. I need a lot of time. You have six hours. Hey, Lance, we need to talk. I can't talk. Busy fighting Lotor. I know, but I was thinking... Why don't you leave the thinking to the big boys, okay? Pidge is on it. That's just it. The turbo upgrade he's looking for. What if it's... Sim, off. Uh, look, I appreciate you wanting to help, but you're a cadet. And your seasoned superiors just got our robo-butts kicked by something we can't even see. Well, maybe I can... You can what? What can you do that our many years of experience can't? Pidge said it himself. He doesn't know how to boost the lion's speed. Oh, so now you're faster than me and smarter than Pidge. No. Well, maybe I'm a little faster than you. Okay. See this, cadet? This is the line. This is you crossing the line. Don't ever cross the line. Wow! I dig systems upgrading, but that's a lot of math. All you have to do is recalibrate the thermodynamic generator and focus the resulting power to the mega thrusters. It's a start, but not nearly enough to win the fight, don't you think? Vince? Huh. Note to self, the smart cadet doesn't like math. <laughs> what the? Shh, I need your help. Ever think of just asking? Maybe a simple pssst or a wave? Sorry, it's just I don't want anyone else to know what I'm doing. Oh, a secret mission. Why didn't you just say so? So you'll help me? No, not today, man. I need to help out with the solution to the speed problem. You're looking at it. You don't want to know what I think I'm looking at right now. My Voltcom power is turbo speed, right? Well, I have a theory I want to test out on the red line. I'm thinking if you help me link this into the cockpit... It might give it the speed boost it... Wait. You're suggesting we take out the red line, aren't you? You know what happened last time. Lance and Keith will go supernova on us. I've always been there for you, Vince. Gotten your back. Now it's time for you to be my wingman. Come on, what do you say? Okay, Red's up and running. How do I link in? Just like this. Now let's see what this cup can do. Okay, but go easy on the... This is awesome! We clearly have different definitions of the word awesome! It's working! You are right! Picking up a signal. Something's incoming and fast. Not as fast as us. Let's open this lion cage and let him out. I thought we already did. You ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, boy. Hold it together this time. Hold it. Hold it. We're at Hyper Mach 1. 1.5. Hyper Mach 2. Here comes the. Sonic boom! Ha! Now we're talking! Stay on it, Daniel. I'm capturing a mad grass image of it now. Got it! Weird, it's a giant eye. Okay, we know what we're dealing with. Let's head back to the castle. Sorry, wingman. Mission's far from over. I give you an inch. And I take a parsec. I know, I'm awful. You see this coming? Oh, 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 how's that taste, buddy? Actually, you're the one biting down on it, so technically you'd be the one tasting. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you better run. I, Daniel, that was amazing, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now we can head back to the castle. I can't wait till my man Lance hears about this. You defied my direct orders in my lion. What on earth were you two thinking? No clever response now, huh, kid? Actually, I had a few. Just thought it was best to keep them to myself. 
Please stop talking. Please stop talking. What did I tell you? Don't cross the line. Do you have any idea how far beyond it you are? Well, I did hit Hypermock too, so I guess pretty darn far. Maybe I should just go now. <laughs> Stay, all of you. Hey, I've got it handled, Keith. Is that so? Because if you ask me, you should be thanking the cadets, not lecturing them. Excuse me? Discipline issues aside, Keith's right. Uh, uh, Daniel was the only one able to snap a clear image of the probe. Turns out, not a bowling ball. He also gave Red a turbo boost, which in theory means we may be able to form Voltron faster. <laughs> not to mention, Daniel even managed to wound it. That means we know there's a way to beat this thing. Yeah, yeah, kid's a real hero. Message received loud and clear. Uh, I was thinking hoagies for lunch. Thoughts? They should thank the kid? Unbelievable. I gave him direct orders and he defied every single one. Sounds like someone else I know. Please, I was never that reckless. No, you were worse. You can't deny what Daniel did was impressive. None of our lions have ever gone that fast before. Doesn't mean he can pilot Red better than me. No one said he could. No one had to. But someone needs to remind that cadet that I'm the Red Lion. Lance, those cadets are here because their special abilities will enhance the Voltron Force, not break it apart. You know that. All Daniel wanted to do was help the man he admires most. <sighs> you think I'm being a jerk. Your words, not mine. Don't worry, your time in the Red Lion is far from over. <sighs> Lance, come in! We're under assault by the giant robotic eye! And yes, I'm aware how insane that sounds. Time to close the curtain on the drama and blacken this eye. is taking a beating. How are we not rubble? That eye is able to bowl through mountains. <laughs> this place is way stronger than some puny mountain. Hunt's been upgrading our defenses for the last five years. Yep, that's reinforced super steel alloy with sub Wexler and force bracing. We can take a 9.9 .9 earthquake and not spill our juice. Or soda. Or a milkshake. Or... All liquids. Got it. One problem. According to my calculations, we can only take an assault this intense for another hour, max. We need to take down that evil eye before we become the bowling pins. Not a problem. We've got a secret weapon. Get ready, Daniel. Okay, team, just like our speedy protege planned, this bad boy won't know what hit him. Wait for it. Wait for it! Flash form, go! Celebrate yet, kid. Let's keep our eye on the prize. After it. I liked him better when he was just an eye. Plasma silver fading! Uh, lion boosters! All you, bitch. even making a dent on this thing. Wait, I have an idea. We're all ears, cadets. I think it's time for that Cyclops to see what happens when we sharpen our blade with a little speed. Way ahead of you. Form Blazing Sword! Can't seem to catch it. Daniel, whatever you got, do it now. Speed boost! 
<laughs> You're also excelling in one-liners, cadet. Keep your fists up. Sim, off. I guess I'm not as good as you. At some things. Listen, I like to think I'm a big enough man to apologize when I've been a... Really big son. Don't make me regret this. You did good, kid. Really good. Well, in the future, I promise to ask before taking right out for a spin. Or at least supercharge it with your speed so I don't catch you. Scan of Eris' exosphere is complete. No sign of any more probes. So, it's over. Or it's just beginning. That probe's mission was to find out where the lions are hidden. And it may have succeeded. We need to find out who sent it, though. I think we can take a pretty good guess.